Hi, this is Justin Putney. In this video, I am going to show you how to add a guide layer using SmartMouth so that you can have some suggestions if you'd like to lip sync manually. So here in Flash, I've got my character again and I've got a range of frames, so I'm just going to I'm just going to do a, a little sample here. So I'm going to double click to select that range of frames. And uh, you can see on stage the mouse symbol with the uh which happens to have the eyebrows included is selected. I'm going to go up to commands and select lip sync with smart mouth. And then I'm going to make sure that uh, I have the right audio layer selected with the dialogue. And so what we're looking at here is obviously I've got uh, my, my frame range that I selected in the timeline. And then I also have this action option. And normally we'd have this uh, go through and make keyframes, but there are two options actually that uh, don't don't produce anything, uh, any keyframes in terms of artwork anyway. So one is this guide layer only, the other one is export to XML. You notice if I select either one of these actions that uh, all of these mode options and, and phoneme options are grayed out, and that's because these don't produce anything on stage, so they don't need that information to run. So if I go back and select one of these, you can see these options are all available again. So for this video, we're going to look at guide layer only. And so I've got uh, my audio layer, my mouth layer, which will tell the guide layer where exactly to go, and my frame selection. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit tell me smart mouth, and it'll do the analysis, which you might be, be able to hear coming out of my speakers. OK, so writes the data. <clears throat> and now what we have is a new guide layer called Smart Mouths, and it's got several labels, which are technically comments, so that when the flash file is published, uh, it doesn't uh, give a warning saying there are duplicate labels, like in this case where there are two M's. So they're a little bit difficult to see, but uh, we can we can fix that. So I'm going to double click on the little. Uh, layer outline to get the layer properties. You can also right click on the layer to get these. And I'm going to change the layer height to let's try 200%. And I've got to just move the playhead to refresh that. There we go. Scroll down. And then in this flyout menu on the timeline, I'm going to select large to make the frames wider. And now you can see we've got a really good look at all of these mouth shapes available. So uh, now you can you can go ahead and, and lip sync manually and use these suggestions as a guide. And um, for me, I like to use the uh, the frame sync extension. So I'm going to select that frame, click auto refresh, and auto add keyframe. And then I can just go through, and that tells me it's an F. So I'm going to select an F. Go to the next frame. Tells me that's an A. So do the open mouth shape. Go to the next frame. Tells me it's an O select the O mouth shape, and so on. So that's how you can use Smart Mouth to produce a guide layer to help you choose your phonemes. All right, thanks a lot.